nation or the, the security officers of the nation. They are protesting to show how dissatisfied they are with the government of the day and what the government of the day are doing and the way they are conducting their businesses. So even if people were to go home right now, we are in the middle of the city and every shop is closed and tear gas canisters are all over and people are, 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 are uh, running here and there. That is enough to show the whole world that the people of Kenya are dissatisfied with the Kenya Kwanzaa government and how they run their business. So the people of Kenya have already shown that members of parliament cannot be trusted because this is the reason why I would say that. If the Kenya Kwanzaa government are the ruling coalition, why would the members of parliament do their parliamentary group meeting at State House? What does that show Kenyans and the rest of the world? We have a, a, a constitution which brought a separation of power between the legislators, uh, the executive and the judiciary. Why would the members of parliament who are the arm of government in legislation do their Fiji meeting in State House? Doesn't that just show correctly that State House by extension is running the parliament? And so the Kenyans have more reasons and even more to continue protesting. If the members of parliament wanted to show us, especially from Kenya Kwanzaa, that they are independent and parliament can be trusted, then parliamentarians from Kenya Kwanzaa government would have had their PG either somewhere in hotel or even in parliament itself. They have a new building which have got bigger rooms and everything they can do. Why would they go to state house to do their PG? So that is, that is showing that parliament is being run by the executive and by extension the president himself. So uh, right now we are seeing police even capturing the cameramen, even capturing the press people, including people who have got tags of the press and people who have jackets of the media. Why would you do that if the budget is actually pro-people? If the budget is pro-people, why are we seeing uh, a town, a capital city that looks like a battle zone with armored vehicles and police and, and grenades? Why, why is it a budget for the people? If it is for the people, the people would be on the street dancing right now. But if the people are protesting, what does that mean? It is a budget for IMF and the government of Kenya and not the people of Kenya. Thank you. Thank you, sir.